Good morning, my lovelies. I've got my coffee sort of half getting cold again, still hot. But I thought I just want to show you this area. I finally cleaned up this area or figured out what to do. This is where I will be filming and potting up my succulents out in the noisy wind. This is my one of the wandering Jews. I forgot the exact name, but it's purple and it's beautiful and it's shiny and metallic and it has a shimmer. And that one in the back there is a fake one because this is my pantry here. But this one here is my begonia. Look how tall that is. So it's almost two meters. I think 1.8 meters long or tall. Look at that. And being end of autumn, it's coming on to winter. I need to bring in a lot of my plants inside that are outside. Not a lot, but it's still a lot because I've got a lot because the ones that are not frost hardy. I am almost on the top of the stairs and this is the area where I put a lot of the succulents that can't handle the frost. I already have a few that I put in here but so my Calicia Rosato look how healthy that is. Okay I just have to close this door behind me. I got this is my sewing room. It's a lot of mess in there but anyway we'll close that one and this one here, hello. It's moi. Okay, so this plant here is just loving it here. This is my begonia. I move it up here, and this is where it's gonna sit. And it just exploded. It's just already taken a couple of leaves that sort of dried up, and also there's a lot of new growth. So this begonia incarnata. Is actually was my birthday plant for 2021 there you go because I hardly bought any <laughs> succulents before that before my birthday so I bought it after my birthday but I still consider it my birthday plant so this one's now there's a lot of empty shelves and the Sun is not very good because I don't want to do we okay do we get direct sun just turn this upwards but is that better no it's not it's really normally this area is quite bright but today it's overcast outside so and there you go look it's all cloudy i'll show you there you go so anyway i've been planning to put some plants outside there but I haven't got time I kept running out of time too many things to do and this one here I don't know what is this plant called I will tell you it my Asinanthus black pagoda okay that one oh look $35 so I haven't removed the label so I paid $35 for this but it's just beautiful I love the pattern look so it's gorgeous and then also my leggy um, peperomia graviolens I actually now brought it here because that one is I'm not too sure I, I've got one that I'm putting out in the frost but this is my mother plant that I forgot I kept it somewhere out, outdoors but it doesn't receive a lot of bright light so now I'm going to put it here. It used to live downstairs. But this one now I'm going to put in here. But of course I have to rearrange things. I might have to remove a couple of the shelves. And also um, move these plants around. But anyway. Oh this one. Oh I just want to show you this plant. This is called Cryptanthus or Earth Star. This is the most amazing plant. Okay, four years old now. So this is my mother plant. And then that mother plant will put out. So if you can see the mother plant over there is dry. So this is like a form of begonia. 
Begonia. But anyway, that Begonia, so it says, um, oh, sorry, Begonia. Bromeliads. What's wrong with me? I got Begonia in the brain. Okay, so it's a form of Bromeliad that grows as a terrestrial. The varieties supplied are fully grown and will produce young plants from the top or side. They're excellent for terrariums or as an indoor plant and will also do very well in pots. Are very slow growing and will not require much maintenance. Once mature, it will produce offsets. They can be removed. So the label is absolutely 100% correct. Because sometimes you get a lot of labels that says, oh, water well, and then they drown and then die. But this one, you can drown them. This one is very, very hardy. And I tried taking it outside because I thought it might grow outside, but I haven't have a plant separated. So I'm thinking of actually maybe pulling out this one. This is the biggest baby. This is the oldest baby, by the way. And the baby is bigger than the mummy. Look at that. So look at that. So this is the mummy, but the mummy now again produced two more pups, which I can't take them out yet because I only take them out during springtime when it warms up. Okay, so now this one now, the spot here are for those two. So I tried putting something else in here, but it didn't do well. It died. What did I have? I have a little fitonia, but then that died. So I only have one fitonia on my care so far, but this is one of my favorite favorite plant so you can't actually kill it by overwatering. and my soil is just my standard master succulent soil mix look and then I put some rocks because this is just pebbles from the river <laughs> but anyway it doesn't need much maintenance I took it out now because the sun is not very good. So anyway, so I have this glass bowl even where I'm growing it in and I just put a little saucer in the bottom. And sometimes I will have a lot of water in the bottom here and then I would spray the top and saturate the soil and I would water this once a month. So, or when I remember, so that's why that one there is sort of dying the mummy but then it put out two more babies maybe it's time to water it again so normally I just lift it up and this part here is a bit light compared to that side there so and if I look in the bottom that's a good indication I can see that there's still some uh, water in the bottom or else that dark part there or else they're going to be light like up this part here but on that side there there's a lot of light shading over here compared to that side there. So it's time to drown this one again. So I've got some curtain rods that I'm gonna install up there and the clock needs a new battery because it's not <laughs> 540. So I was gonna create a little nook here, a little serene area. So anyway, I'm I still have to move stuff around and all. See, oh, actually this one, see, this one, this Pachypodium gay is actually growing outside and I brought it in because it's not frost hardy and I think she needs a drink as well because she's a bit dry, those three leaves. Also, I brought in my Portulaca or Laracea. So this is the one that's all went pink. And I don't think it likes being too close to the window, so I have to move that away. But this baby here, the baby is healthier than the mummy, but it's more away from the window. But you can see those ones are stretching out, they're becoming leggy. So anyway, I will show you what this area, oh, maybe the Jacob Senei as well. The Jacob Senei. Maybe you don't like it there, but I will see because I will leave that one there. I got one to go in the safety area and one I'm leaving outside to see how it goes uh, because they, they did suffer from the frost last year. So anyway, so there's a few other bits and pieces there, but I will show you more in future videos what this area is going to look like. Also this Hoya here, Hoya is growing really well. Look at that. But, ooh. Do you have a milli bug? I got some white stuff. Okay, so this one is showing signs 
or mealy bug. Is that mealy bug? No. Yes, it is. Yep. It's only that one, so I need to wah, search and destroy. Okay, so it's only this one, the variegated one. My Hoya Crimson Princess is being attacked. So this is for lack of air circulation because I haven't opened the window in here for a while, so I probably need to put some fan. And even here, look at that. The soil has got mealybugs. See that white fluff there? Grab it. There you go. So I'll just spray it with my metho 100% metho oh another one here so that's what I'm going to do with this one but anyway this one here oops okay everything else looks healthy even this one my fungi my hoya fun fungi it is actually fungi or fungi look and then my potsii why do they have the double eyes? It says a potsy, potsy eye. So this one now, oh, it's climbing on there. So that looks all right. A friend of mine requested to do a video on string of hearts. This is the variegated one and it's going like crazy in here. And then I only started with a strand, the smallest strand here that I bought a few years ago and it was so slow I left it in the same pot that I bought it in and it was just slow growing so I finally changed the soil and then now it's going bonkers it's now growing like crazy so I have to put this in a bigger pot and also it's a bit dark isn't it and also <laughs> what do you call this forgot to turn the light on and also what shall I call it yeah, transplant the other ones that's growing under my grow light in the bigger pot with this lot here. Even though now it's already winter, the dormant are going to sleep, but it doesn't matter. So anyway, I am now allowed. My hubby said, yes, you can do whatever you like. So I hang up some plants on our lights. So only small ones. So I can't big. I can't put big pots in there or, el or else that light's going to come down. <laughs> anyway, that's it. Let's go outside. We've had rain for, well, th well, three and a half days, I would say, because it wasn't really like continuous rain. And this one has been sitting there for the last three days because I forgot. I was watering before the rain because this really needs some watering. Hang on, I just let you drain there first okay and that is a kanihini and look how nice and pink it is oh i think it's called um pink berry as well so the name keeps changing they name it to kanihini and then now it's changing back to pink berry so anyway but it is a beautiful plant look it's cute really 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 cute and chubby especially when they go like red like that or pink I have removed a lot of the weeds and the other plants. Those plants still has to go in the center there. Those little ergeron seaside daisies. I have to remove them, but especially now, look, all the autumn leaves have fallen on my, even this hibiscus as well. So the all the trees are going yellow and then that one has already dropped its leaves and I got hold of some logs hardwood actually cousin Frank thank you for my logs he's chopped a tree down and so now instead of throwing it as a firewood and I thought I'll put it in my garden as a stepping thing or a spot holder or whatever anyway so I've already cleared out this area but I just couldn't get a break as to that has to be um, revamp that pot there anyway I have this is actually a capri can you believe that that has become frost hardy and then that one I forgot what you are I think that's sort of a gold something well it's an yeah well it's an echeveria agavoides anyway and this one is um, I forgot what you called Fred Ives Scriptoveria Fred Ives anyway I forgot what you called but anyway my brain's not working today I haven't finished my coffee which is already cold again it's actually cold but now I still left this area here that way from the street it will still look nice and full 
but I'll walk you through the front okay so this one is going yellow because it means it needed some drink and thank goodness we got some rain they're not deciduous trees which means the leaves should not fall off but then it's going yellow because that needs a drink anyway so this area here I'm gonna be filling this up with a lot of succulents so you can see I've got my bits and pieces I still need to clean it up because the erigeron is starting to grow again but these ones really have to I have to pull out the roots and stuff because or else they'll come up again and I don't want to spray this garden because there's a lot of plants and bulbs in here still that's going to come out through the succulents when I do fill this up with succulents look at the the little post is for the corners so I'm setting up but it's just a matter of having the right timing it's timing it's all timing with the weather because we are getting really really windy the weather is always windy and if it's not windy it's raining so even this part here that's been empty for a long time so that's like almost what a year that's been empty that needs to be filled up so I'm gonna update you as to what this area looks like when I do fill it up and sorry that I, I'll try and do a video as I put it in but it's really difficult for me to think and work on the garden at the same time I just get distracted I can't be distracted when I'm doing something <laughs> I don't know I hope you understand that but anyway I'll try and do sections okay as progress work oh look at this one oh you are flowering my black aloe oh no no they're, they're not black aloe this is actually far light aloe far light or something like that yeah or yeah far light or street light or urban light very light maybe and look gorgeous ah beautiful I'm supposed to put them in the garden but then I just decided to leave them in the pot now that needs to be filled up with this is our native this is a kangaroo apple fast growing bird attracting shrubs that grows naturally in the Canberra region so it is like a succulent too anyway so the berries I do eat and I hope it lengthens my life